So I think Wargaming has been overcome by greed again, as pretty much every week. Because I just logged into the game and look at what I found. This right here. So the E25 is back on sale and so is the Centurion Mark V1. So the Mark V1 is basically just a better Centurion Mark I. Who, who cares? They're, they're, I don't know. But the E25 is a really overpowered tank destroyer that was actually removed from the game back in 2015. Let's have a look at that. I'll just cut to the website real quick. What they said was, this is f their words from 2015. The E25, a German tier 7 premium tank destroyer, is a superb tank with blah blah blah. Unfortunately, there's another side to the success story. And then they go on to say that basically there's too many and it leads to an imbalance in the game. So, they have made the difficult decision financially to withdraw them from the game. Basically in January 2015 they removed it from the premium shop. I actually remember it being in the shop and thinking it looked cool but I wasn't that interested. I wasn't gonna spend money on the game back then. So, well, I guess that decision was a little bit too hard for them because today in March 21 it's back. But let's look at why it was removed and why it's so overpowered. Now, here we're on tanks GG. Is this? Yes, this is EA25. Basically, its overall stats are really good, but I believe what was the main reason back then was this right here. The camo after firing. It's almost 9%. If you compare that to current tank destroyers that are, I think, pretty good. I don't know. Is the crop star good? I don't play tank destroyers. It's got 5.0. 09. The Super Hellcat has 5 after firing. So this thing can pretty much shoot at people without getting spotted. Now I'm not 100% sure if this was the reason. I think it was though. I think this is some old game mechanic that tank destroyers used to have that they don't have anymore. And that's one of the reasons. Well, I want to be honest with you. I'm kind of a sucker for these things. Like this is right now in the store for 12 days. It costs 26 bucks. Uh, yeah fuck it I'm just gonna get this thing like there's I haven't bought a single premium tank in the game yet with money I bought the off tank Panzer uh, because there isn't one that interests me and this one I want so I'm gonna get this real quick and I'm not gonna show you my PayPal details mom mommy let me get your credit card what do you mean we're short on rent? So. Let's see, I'm excited. It's loading right now. Thank you. Oh, oh yeah, you're welcome. So let's see. But it's gonna be in my game now, I think. So, ooh. Let's see. So. I'm still recording. And well, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up with my garage? Is there something in here? Oh, look, there it is. I now own a T uh, an E25. Spent twenty five bucks. Well, I got up at up to go to work at four thirty this morning, so I think I I have to I deserve this. Now, I'm gonna be honest. I bought this tank because I think it looks cool. Not because I actually really want to play it because I don't really like tank destroyers even overpowered ones like this one and I have this so what do I need an E25 for really now one more thing what I th think this means first of all they don't really understand that they can just keep making money and keep the game in a good spot at the same time. I think they could release this like a version 2.0 of it where it's actually balanced and where well it's well it just doesn't hurt the game and people would still buy it but and they would still have fun with it and other people wouldn't suffer from it. That's what I think they don't get. I don't know why they released this but they didn't just do an E25 version 2 that's not overpowered. 
that's good, but not overpowered. I don't get that. I don't get. I don't understand why they keep releasing overpowered vehicles that make this game less fun for others. I don't understand it. Because they don't have to. They're in a good position. They have a game that a lot of people are playing. They could just make this better. They could just release tanks that are fun to play. That They don't need to be overpowered for people to buy them. They can just be good. I don't get it. But, well, here we are. Now, another thing I think this means is... I don't know about you, but there's, there's that other tank that I really want. You know? Let's just let's just go back go back to that forum post and to that website post that they made and see see what they have on there. Alright, so let's look at what other difficult decisions they had to make back in twenty fifteen when they pretended to care about the balance of their game. By the way, hasn't the I think Skill said that a lot of the old de um, development team has quit already. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, I love their game, don't get me wrong, but this kind of shit, I don't like it. So let's see. What else did they remove here? I hope I'm recording. Um, hmm, well, I don't care about already care. Don't, no, no, I don't care about none of this shit. Oh, this one, yeah. Yeah, this one I care about. I don't know where this, where, where this just led me, but basically, basically... Fuck. Basically what I'm saying is, if the E25 can come back, the Type 59 can come back too. I'm not sure how broken the Type 59 is, honestly. Is it? Um, I, I, sh I sh Should I know this? I, I don't know. I guess. You know what? I don't care about not knowing about how overpowered certain tanks are that I haven't played. So, yeah. Anyway. Type 59. I'm not sure if I want to get that because I have a Type 54, which looks the same and is actually better and is faster, which is really important for my playstyle. But I don't know. That might come back. Who knows what else they're going to put back in the game. But yeah, I think, honestly, I've already said any, everything I need to say about what I think they should do with the game and what they're doing. And, um, well... Uh, I'm not going to recommend you to get an E25 because it's a tank destroyer. Those are kind of boring to play in my opinion because it's really weird not having a turret. But if you're going to get a tank destroyer, get this one. I don't know. And as for the Centurion Mark V1, yeah, sure. Um, sure, thanks for putting a better Centurion 1 in the game. I actually like the Centurion 1. And I hate the way the Centurion Mark V one looks because it's got that real weird fuel tank at the back, but whatever. Is there anything I want to add? Let me think. Nah. Nah, I think this speaks for itself. Oh, I'm sure it was a difficult decision. <laughs>